So this is the newer LCD field monitor. Um, this is the F200, uh, seven inch 4K HDMI field monitor. Uh, ordered it off Amazon, ordering, um, the batteries are still on the way, but I have a Sony battery that probably will work. So yeah, let's see. This is how it's packaged. So when I ordered it, I couldn't find much um, on YouTube regarding um, this field monitor. I'm guessing because the only difference between this and the F100 is the 4K support. Um, it seems like some of the comments people are having trouble with um, pushing through 4K in the HDMI to this monitor. So, here's the monitor, pretty light, buttons feel plasticky, but you know, that, that is what it is, and then a protective cover on the monitor, um, the inputs are on the side, it has USB, AV out, headphone jack, AV in, HDMI, and then uh, DC 12 volt uh, connector right there. So that's the monitor. I guess it comes with the two different type of hoods for the back for sunny days. Um, comes with a HDMI cable. And HDMI, HDMI and mini HDMI, I think, and uh, AV in um, cable right here to the right here to the red, white, yellow connector. Um, I think that will work with my 5D Mark III, and also a little bracket here to do cable relief. I believe that's what that is for, and it also comes with a mount. Um, you mount the monitor on a cold shoe and yeah this is what's inside the pack so right now I have it powered by a Sony NPF 970 battery that I have for one of my video lights and this is a Canon 5D Mark III using the RCA composite AV input um, into the monitor and once you flip on the live view get a signal and there it is um, yeah I guess uh, if you're using this to record yourself it might not be the best as in depending on which way you move it, it's mirrored and in the menu settings I couldn't find a way to invert the image but at least you can frame yourself in it um, and yep and here's a closer look Yeah, so that is the line in from the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, there's different settings there that you can adjust. Brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, sharpness, color, temperature. Um, here's your volume. Oh. My camera just switched off, but going through the rest of the menu, there's some markers, marker options. Uh, here are some other functions, zoom, freeze. Oh, maybe the flip horizontal and vertical will help. Uh, so there is a function for that, it seems like. Um, and the aspect ratio is auto right now. And waveform, you can do peaking, peaking color, false color, exposure, histogram, and level marker. And here are some of the settings for the backlight, time, language, and the, I think you can change what these buttons do. 
the F1, F2, F3 configuration. I believe you can change it to something else. Yeah, so you can change for a different function. Customize function one, two, and three, which is pretty nice. Yeah, so this is using the RCA. Looks pretty good to me. This is the first um, field monitor I've used with this camera. Um, but yeah, I'll switch it on with the Fuji X-T2 and see if we can get a 4K output. Okay, so on the Fuji, um, on the back of the camera, um, there's different settings you can do for your output. So the 4K movie output right now, it's recording full HD on SD and then I think it's 4K out HDMI. Um, when I had it the other way with 4K on SD um, and full HD on HDMI, it didn't work. Um, there was no video. I believe it disappeared. Oh, nope, it's still good. So to make sure we have output 4K through the H uh, to the field monitor, that's the setting we're going with. And yep, we'll go to the other side. So here it is from the other side. Um, still the problem of the inverted horizontal. Let's see if we can change that. Flip horizontal. Turning that on. Oh, there you go. Now it's moving the same way. So um, your settings and stuff gets flipped, but at least um, you see your self moving in the same way if that's what you're going for. Um, all your settings and stuff will be mirrored as well. So if that bothers you, choose one or the other, and yeah, I guess it'll work. Um, yeah, so this is the field monitor, newer field monitor uh, with the XD2. Um, seems to be working quite good. Right now it's in 4K, so the face tracking isn't on, but the center focus point is going. So, yeah, there you go. It's simply mounted on one of these cold shoe mounts. Uh, this is the F200. Um, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you can see the quality is pretty good. It's pretty clear. Lots of uh, audio settings that you can monitor as well as the in-camera one, so you can choose what your output from your camera, what your camera is and show what you want to see uh, since there's a lot of built-in features into the um, monitor as well. So yeah, just a quick overview um, of this field monitor and yeah, if you have any questions, post it below and let me know what you think. I just wanted to make this video because I couldn't find anything related to this monitor. I found a lot of videos on the F100. Um, but it seems like the only thing that I can see different is the support for 4K, so, yep, yeah. have a good one.